say the start of the game was, uh, uh, you know, in Milwaukee, we jumped on them 15 to 5. We had energy defensively. We protected the paint. Uh, tonight, we had nothing. Nobody wanted to guard. Uh, nobody wanted to share the basketball. Um, we had to resort to zone the second half because our man-to-man -man defense was was pitiful, and the zone obviously gave us a chance to win the game. Um, and we executed some things in the zone pretty well. Uh, had a couple opportunities when we tied it, came out of the timeout, got a wide open shot, uh, and missed it. Uh, but uh, we haven't practiced the best the last week or so. And I'm, I'm not sure we really want to practice that much. So sometimes in life you get what you deserve. And uh, we deserve this because uh, our, from our seniors all the way down to our freshmen, uh, for whatever reason, they think they've arrived. and. Uh, they, they, they weren't much interested in practicing. And obviously, that's my responsibility because I let it happen. I let guys walk away from me in practice. I let them stand by the trainer. Uh, I let them talk back to me. Uh, and uh, that's unfortunate because we, we had a chance to do something special here. And tonight, uh, tonight we didn't have it. Um, I mean, he's he's right. We we just didn't bring it today. Um, probably leading up to it, we weren't we weren't focused enough. And, you know, we just didn't didn't come with the same energy that we've had. Uh, just to echo what Coach said, our defense was terrible. Um, for whatever reason, we couldn't keep the ball in front of us. Uh, they had a bunch of layups, open threes. Um, we couldn't do much about it. We went to the zone, and by that time, it was too late. We were just playing uphill the rest of the game. And, um, you know, coaching knows best. When we're practicing hard, this is what we, this is what we deserve. Do you have some things that you haven't seen in practice as far as those things you pointed out? With three games left, are they things you guys can address as players to get them correct before the next game? I mean, you have to. I mean, we got, we got three left. Um, you know, we, we knew coming in tonight was a was a big one, especially you know a home game. Um, but now from from here on out, we just got to uh, work on fixing it, and and it's fixable. It's just a matter of you know doing it mentally and, and holding everybody accountable. Yeah, exactly what what Isaiah just said. Um, I mean, we only have three games left. We have one home game left. This it's the end of it's the end of the season. We shouldn't still be talking about um, trying to correct things that. We can control. It's not even about X's and O's. It's just about focus and and wanting to do it. So we got three games left, and we'll see what we're made of. For both of you guys, obviously a three-point shooting was cold to start. Was it just rust from being off for a few days, or was it anything special that you guys noticed? Um, you know, in my opinion, it it wasn't rust. I mean, maybe for for. Some guys, I, I don't know. I think it was more of just the the big game atmosphere and and just kind of forcing it, wanting it to go in so bad. And, and it wasn't in the the first half, but um, I mean that's that's kind of how shooting goes. Some days you have it, but uh, we didn't do a good enough job defensively uh, to keep us in it in the first half. When you're struggling to get stops in the first half, that's obviously an issue. But you guys were also kind of sloppy with the ball. Yes. Well, you know, a lot of a lot of the uh, turnovers led to their transition. Um, you know, we we were down at, at halftime a lot due to you know we weren't even getting shots, but they were getting transition layups, and and that really put us in a tough spot because we got one or two guys back. So, um, you know, turnovers necessarily when you can set up your defense, you know, it, it makes it easier. But at the same time, what we were doing in the first half of throwing it away and then running in transition, it's really tough. Two more questions for you guys. I guess at this point, are you guys shocked or surprised or uh, just how the three point shooting has kind of gone south on um, you? I mean, it is what it is at this point. Um, there's only so many times we can say we have an off shooting night. When it happens 75% of the season, it's not an off night. It's how we're shooting the ball, um, it's our DNA. And 
I mean, like Isaiah said, there's there's guys getting in the gym and, and getting extra shots up, and maybe for some reason the the bright lights and you know just wanting it to go in too bad. But whatever it is, it, it it's not getting the job done. Um, I mean, we still play the same way. We're we're getting open looks, and you know that's why we're here to shoot the ball. But we we got to figure something out. You gotta you gotta take each day one day at a time. Um, you know, starting with practice, get better. Um, continue to, to to focus on on one game at a time. We can't look at it um, as an overall thing. You just take one day at a time. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Any questions for Coach McDermott? Uh, you know, I th there was maybe a couple the second half we turned down that we could have shot. Uh, but I, my guess is when we go back and look at it, most of our looks are wide open with plenty of time to step in, and uh, we're just not making them. And, you know, some guys are spending the time in the gym uh, working at it, some more than others. Uh, obviously, Cole can't practice because of his knee. Uh, Toby's fighting a, a hip pointer, uh, so he's been limited as well. Uh, but... You know, it's 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 a big part of who we are, and it's uh, you know it's difficult offensively. With without that, you don't have the spacing, you don't have the the lanes to drive, uh, we don't have the isolations in the post that that we'd like to have. So, uh, and it's perplexing because we've we've shot it pretty well in practice, and that's uh, that's the thing that's hard for me to understand. Well, the, late in the second half, we had the two fouls on the bigs and, and decided uh, to go small with them. Uh, and I think that probably hurt us in retrospect. I'd probably, you know, ride it out with one of those guys. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we, we played better when they had both bigs in than we did when they were small. Um, and, you know, again, we, we had a hard time making shots. But Henry's a, you know, he, he's, he's a matchup nightmare. Uh, he, he can go inside. He can, you know, he made a couple threes tonight. Uh, you know, that mid-range game in the middle of the zone. He had a couple big shots at critical times when the game was being decided there. So uh, he's he's a heck of a player. A, a great talent. It's very disappointing. It's very disappointing. Uh, you know, we did that starting group as good as they've been at starting games and starting halves. Uh, they didn't have anything tonight. You know, we we were averaging 11 turnovers per game on the season. We turned over 11 times the first half, and just crazy decisions. You know, out of character decisions. So uh, that's that's hard to explain. Uh, you know, why that would show up. I mean, is it the layoff? I, I mean, I don't know. They had plenty of rest. So I mean, our uh, for the most part, physically, we should be back where we need to be. Uh, I mean, my thoughts is trying to figure out we're off tomorrow, try to figure out a way to have a good practice Friday and Saturday. Um, because, what, like I said, we have not practiced with the urgency that you would think a team would practice with, given the situation that we're in. Uh, and, you know, we've got some guys that can't practice for injury reasons, and certainly that's, that's disruptive because you've got guys playing out of position in practice because you don't have healthy bodies on the floor. Uh, but we have to manage that the best we can uh, to try to get through these last two weeks and into the Big East tournament. Uh, it's the last home game on Sunday for James and Jeff. They've met a great deal to this program. Uh, and obviously St. John's is playing better basketball than when we saw them the first time, which is, seems like years ago. Uh, but uh, we let one get away at home tonight and, and uh, you know, didn't play uh, the brand of Creighton basketball that, that I expect our teams to play. Coach, how important will be the three ball moving forward? Well, uh, you know, I've said it all year. All, the problem is we're running out of year. Uh, I, I feel like if we come out of it, we got a chance to go on an unbelievable run. Um, but, you know, sometimes the, you are what the numbers say you are. 
and you know we chart a lot of stuff in practice and and uh, the numbers in practice are a long ways away from the numbers in, in games. Uh, and they're guys that have made shots for us before and have made shots in their career before. So uh, the last thing I want them to do is be hesitant. Uh, I want them to be confident. But that confident com confidence comes from preparation. And uh, you know they're going to have to get in the gym here the next couple of days and get ready for the stretch run. Thank you.